Hey guys, we're going to talk here today. We're going to be playing some more Farming Simulator 2019 here on the server, the dedicated server. And as you can see, I'm running around really fast. We do have a new mod in here. It's called Developer Tools, Easy Developer Commands, whatever you want to call it. It's cool because admins can do a lot of cool stuff, but it's also a downside because, well, admins can do a lot of cool stuff like this like you could basically set all the fields on the map to be planted and if somebody messes something up if Wilson or Tanner or me accidentally clicks like all the fields because you can do that and plants everybody's stuff to wheat well that's not going to be too good so we're going to throw it in here for a year and see how it goes um, also I did find out you can put weed state down so like the whole field is weeds so we might try doing that corn thing again with the cultivator. We might try that next year or something. I don't know. But anyway, so today, also let me know if you like the speed multiplier. Do you guys like me running around fast like this? Because I, I kind of like to go really quick. It's fun. But anyway, today we're going to be side dressing corn. So we're going to get these tanks. We're going to run saddle tanks. Yes, we got to do it fancy like. And we're going to buy this. And we're also going to get the pickup involved with a tender trailer. I believe we have a flatbed in here. Maybe it's in our low loaders. This. Field support. 10,000 gallon. Or liter. Actually probably holds about 1,600 gallon. Because 10,000 gallons is a lot of gallons. Semi tanker I think will hold that. And then we need to buy... A tractor so we'll go into large tractors find which one we want should be in here somewhere let's get the 700 we better do a row crop we don't want the European version let's get the US version let's do regular engine covers we find wheel setup 3 meter row crop Four meter. We'll do four. GPS. Mud flap. Big engine, because why not? You might as well throw a big engine in there. Actually, I don't know, though. Kind of like it without the big engine. It's got a narrower front. We'll just get the 300 horse engine. And we'll do that. And then... Start the engine up. We'll hook on. Should be able to hook everything up and get going to the field we'll probably end up side dressing everything actually um, just because we don't really need to buy a sprayer necessarily but I can already see the tracks are not lining up with this actual uh, deal it looks like to me they need to be a little bit narrower but it's weird I don't know we'll give it a whirl see how it comes out we'll hook on to these there we go. Alright, so we're going to take this to the farm. We'll come back and grab that trailer with the pickup. Alright, so we made it to the field. We're going to go ahead and just pull off the road right here and park it. Let's jump into the pickup. We're going to take it down, hook onto the trailer, and we'll go fill it somewhere. Not sure where, but we'll get it filled and bring back the liquid fertilizer. And then we'll start side dressing. Okay, so we went ahead and got it loaded. It was about 10,000 to get it loaded. And the only thing with this speed runaround deal is it's a kind of a pain, just a little bit. So let's turn it down to like two or three and see. Yeah, let's go to two. So another thing you can do is extra time scale. Whoa. Okay, so it's 759. So maybe that's just, it's just an extended edit of the time scale and whatnot. I don't really know. But you can do like lift anything, um, do all this cool stuff with the developer tools. But like I said, it's really, we will not do it for a tournament if we ever do a tournament because you can cheat so easily that we probably won't have it on a tournament. But we might have it on like these maps in case like somebody can't get their acres in or somebody can't play. And then we can use that tool to actually plant their fields and whatnot. But the downside is if you edit your fields, so like if you expand your field a little bit, 
it won't actually plant that expanded part, I don't think. We're going to test it out next year and see. Or we might test it on Wilson's field up there because he did that. Because he was cutting trees down and expanding his field to make it nice and square. Okay, so Wilson's going to join here in a little bit. Tanner joined, and or Zane joined, and then Tanner joined. And then Wilson was like, well, I'll just wait for the rest of them to join. But we're going to get started with this, see how much we can get done. We might be able to get a lot done, and we might be able to get nothing done. You just never really know. So, start this up. Let's go ahead and see if we can't fill. I don't know why we should be able to fill. Let's fill the tanks up. Turns pretty short. Here we go. So these are the saddle tanks that it's filling. Now normally you can't fill saddle tanks on a hill like this. So let's make it a little bit more realistic. Fill up like this, and there's Wilson. So we're going to fill it up and get it full, and then we're going to test it out, see if it'll actually work. It should work. All right, so we got it filled up. Looks like it holds about 2,000 gallon. That basically pulled the uh, trailer empty, didn't it? 21%. So yeah, basically. Anyway, we're going to get it unfolded. It kind of unfolds weird. So the wings come down as a set. They both come down, and then they fold forward, and then the tips come down. So it's kind of strange, but I don't think you can actually, like, lower it or raise it. Okay, staying corrected. You can raise it and lower it. But see how it's delayed? The moving tools are delayed because of the cylinder. Because that drops that. It's kind of like a three-point underneath there. It's kind of neat. But anyway, we'll kick it on. Better lower it. I don't think you really have to lower it. See, because I have it raised. But it puts it on pretty quick. Another question is I'm lagging really bad. I'm guessing I wonder if somebody uses that cheat mod. And then it lags out. Okay, so the... The implement actually... Goes down the rows really good. So that's nice. Follows the rows really well. The tractor on the other hand, well... It's running that row over and running that row over. We really should have got the three meter tracks, or what was it? The three or four? One of the two. We should have got the other one that I got instead of this one. It would fit it a lot better. But oh well. I guess we'll do that next time. I thought about changing it back. So I guess we'll put the full state on this field. It's going pretty quick, about 18. Oh. Well, we're lagging. We have 1,400 ping, and now we have like 200. I don't really know why. For sure. I don't know. Tanner's down there. I don't know why we're having so much high ping. Now we're not. Looks like about 15, so. Anyway, we're going to get this all fertilized up. Get it full state. And then we will see on the next field. We might side dress the Milo. Just to get it full state there. We might spray it too. We'll see. We'll see how much we have left over after we get the corn done. Looks like to me we're going to have quite a little. But we'll see. Alright, so we're basically just finishing up. And we only used 25% of it. But I think we're going to go ahead and trade it off anyway. We'll probably, if we can, unload the sprayer. And we'll keep that spray trailer around for more videos. Because we will be putting on fertilizer with a sprayer eventually. Not on this field, because this field is ready to go. We shouldn't have to do any other thing to it besides spray herbicide. And then it'll be ready to grow. We'll just let it grow, and we'll call it good. But the beans, they need another stage of fertilizer and herbicide. I think, well, everything needs herbicide yet. And then the wheat field also needs a stage of fertilizer as well. Maybe even two wouldn't be bad. But anyway, there we go. Lift it up, and it got pretty dirty. We only did a few acres with it, but it got pretty dirty. And I think we're definitely going to keep this tractor, because I think what we'll do is we'll get an actual maybe pull-type sprayer this time. And I think we actually might keep this as well. So we might just keep this, uh, actually I think we're going to sell the implement. Wrong button. Let's go ahead and unload that. And I feel like that's the rest that's in the saddle tanks that can't get unloaded. Yeah. So we'll just have to deal with that. 
But anyway, we'll go ahead and we're definitely, I think we're going to keep this tractor. I think we are. I really like this tractor. I think we'll keep it and use it on the farm. Keep the saddle tanks too. And I think we'll put a sprayer behind it. Big old pull type sprayer and just run that. And then maybe we'll demo a sprayer as well. But yeah, that's the plan. Anyway, we might as well drop this off there. Wrong thing. Let's drop that off there because we really don't need it there. We'll pull this up to the yard. And eventually we'll put this on the planter. Like we're going to buy that 12 row case planter next year. And run that for corn and soybeans. We'll probably do a lot more acres next year. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on how laggy the server is going to get. Because as you can see, it's already pretty laggy. Because I think, mainly I think this time is just because the storms came through last night. We had big storms last night. And I think that probably had something to do with it. Because of, you know, just storms and electronics just do not get along sometimes. So, I think that could be part of my trouble today. There we go. We'll park it right there, right in front of the house. So if the house catches fire, our equipment will burn down. Or vice versa. Let's get this loaded back up. We should smooth this little jump down right there. Might help us a little bit. Come fall time. We'll see. Alright, we'll get these two filled up. And we should really get a spot where we can put a shed. I think that's what I'm going to do during the winter. I'm going to knock out some of these trees and just put like a little shed right in there somewhere. And apparently Wilson sold the uh, co-op. Or the uh, police thing, whatever you want to call it. Because he owns like all the stuff around the map. That's weird. I wonder why he did that. Probably ease of uh, stuff. He doesn't have to switch over to it. But I suppose we'll take this up to the house. And whenever we get our sprayer, we'll fill out of this thing instead of going to buy it. We'll actually just go buy it somewhere from the neighbor or something. Because that's what I've been doing. I've been stealing it from Wilson. I mean, you don't. You still have to pay for it either way. But... I think it's more realistic to go get it from somewhere rather than already having it on your farm. I mean, you could store it, but I think it's better just to have it there. Plus, I like to haul stuff. It makes it a little nicer when you have not a whole lot of acres and you just kind of play around versus the whole map when you have to when you know you have to get across it. Anyway, we'll drop that off right there. Probably shouldn't be unhooking it loaded or half loaded but it should be all right right should be fine i think we'll hope so but yeah there we go and apparently our fov is still messed up from the thumbnail we took so let's see if we can fix that negative one click perfect apparently flight's still on too let's shut that off one thing i forgot to do is we're gonna hook on to that and we're gonna go sell it so, we'll take the pickup down there, hook on to it, take it down to the shop, and get rid of it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and drop this off, and hit this car real fast. Oh, I guess we missed it. There we go, drop that off, and we will sell it. Grab that. Sell that, $110,000. That was from, who was that from? That was from LR Modding, I believe. I'm surprised they didn't put it in their group. Where is the sprayers? There. Um, let's see. Yeah, El Armadi. Maybe they had it in their group and I changed it because sometimes I do that. I'll change it because usually they have it. But El Armadi, that was a good mod. Another good mod from LR. And this is the sprayer we're going to get. So I might as well buy it now and pull it home. We're going to put on the big twin crops. We don't really need the GPS system on it. So we have GPS on the tractor. So we'll buy that. And I suppose we will pull that home with us on our way back. And Wilson said something. We need to sell a piece of land for us because it's not letting us. I wonder which chunk of land they're trying to sell. If they're trying to sell the... Uh... Well, I didn't know there was fertilizer tank there. Actually, I forgot there was a co-op. I'm actually going to go try something. Tanner's planting cotton again. Well, that's about the only thing you can really plant to guarantee it growing. To guarantee the growth. 
down, down there. But that's fine. Cotton, cotton probably won't make much. But see, the reason they can't sell it is because they have placeables and you have to sell the placeables. Which it's cool how they have the placeables here. I didn't know they had that. Shoot, we could have been filling up here instead of Wilson's house. I guess Wilson still kind of owes it, owns it, so. And there's dry fertilizer there. But. Anyway, I guess they sold the uh, shop. They must have got rid of the police academy, or whatever you want to call it. That's weird. Oh well. Anyway, we'll go ahead, take this back to the farm. We'll probably end up spraying in the next video. Or actually running my own spray operation. And getting a new sprayer. We might run two. We'll see. Might put like herbicide in this one. Fertilizer in the other one. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for us. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next one.